Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, March 22nd, 2018. Very quickly, trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you've had a good week so far. It's been an interesting one. We're in the second day of uh, Jerome Powell, the new Fed chair in the U.S. His uh, communiques to the market, we, what he's thinking on the path of interest rates going forward. Um, the market is not liking what he said yesterday. The futures are off by about 200 points, so it's a time to be really careful and watch those areas of support and resistance for sure. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you're a regular viewer, then you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell's moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list, and when it's moving lower, I'm getting defensive and watching stops. So we're looking at the five-year monthly. I like to step back and take a look at the five-year monthly on the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And we're in this area here. I've taken away all my drawings. You can see the candle for the month so far. Bullish orientation. We've got one week, one trading week left in the month. So we'll see how it ends up. February was a concerning month because it was red and we had that price drop that started at the end of January and brought us all the way back down to this level. So as we said in our Tuesday video and our videos last week, we're in that high range area from January where price was rejected. So we're being extra cautious in this area. Now I'm going to put my drawings back on so we can better see. And <clears throat> this blue line down here is long term support, medium and short term. So we're kind of ignoring these ones for now and we're really dialing into this area here. The most important chart on, uh, line on my chart, I should say, is this black diagonal line because it held price in along with this orange line down here, held price in on the Russell through all of 2017 and then we had this breakout to the upside and price started to trade above my black diagonal line until February where it bled below. So the month of March in my way of thinking, is either going to complement February and have some price weakness, or it is going to uh, assert itself as uh, resuming the uptrend and moving uh, out of this area further up. So that's the monthly chart. Let's take, take a look at the two-year weekly. There's that same orange line, same pink line, same black diagonal line, and then we put this line in in our Tuesday video saying, look, Here's the Russell. This is the weekly chart. Uh, it's in this area of prior price weakness. Needs to get through. So we drew this line in here and said, look, if the uptrend's going to resume, it's going to need to break through that area and go higher. So that's the weekly look. Now let's take a look at the daily. There we are. So look yesterday. Ever so interesting. I didn't move this line. We drew it in on our Tuesday video. Price tried to break through, but softness came in towards the end of the day. It was rejected in this area, and we're going to start lower this morning. So we just want to make sure that this is not the beginning of something bigger. So this is why it's so important to watch those areas of support and resistance. Having said that, if I zoom in, I use this blue line as my guide, which is the 8-day EMA. When price on the Russell is up and over the blue 8-day EMA, I'm adding new names to my watch list. So as you can see, if I zoom in, price closed above the eight-day EMA. Uh, for the most part, it was a, you know, a little bit of a draw between the bears and the bulls. Obviously, the bears won this morning with this open that's going to be lower, but this area is being defended, defended pretty heavily. So if price strength resumes and recovers, I am going to highlight a past chart of the day cafe pick that I think is worth keeping an eye on here. And the chart that I wanted to feature for you this morning is BP British Petroleum. It trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol BP. Before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. I'm actually re-featuring BP. It's an old chart of the day cafe pick. And if you know me, I'm all about the fundamental scores underneath the charts I feature. And British Petroleum has a really nice high value score, as well as a current forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 21% a PE of 15.80 and a dividend yield of 5.98%. Wow on the dividend. Love that dividend yield. So we're looking at the two-year weekly chart. 
uh, BP was my chart of the day cafe featured chart here, green circle day in um, February of 2017. We're looking at the weekly. It sort of traded sideways around that area of support and then really started to take off. It's come into that area of support again. It's looking bullish for the week so far. So I'm going to zoom it away from the two year weekly to the six month daily. You can see that it bounced around this area, but it looks as though it may want to take off here. Um, I will be zooming in on this area and looking for price strength to continue on BP. It's all about the markets overall. If the markets overall sink, then BP will sink as well. But if that price strength recovers throughout the day, tomorrow, BP will be one to keep an eye on in this area. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're looking at XLE, which is the ETF, the energy space. I'm zooming out to take a look at the five-year monthly because I want you to see how oil kind of bottomed here in early 2016, found a floor and has been trending higher since then. So two-year uptrend at support so far for the month, a bullish looking candle. We want to make sure it stays that way, but hitting our trend line in an uptrend. I also like to take a look at seasonality and for that I go to equityclock.com, a really terrific site, can't recommend enough because I want to see if my chart has seasonal favor and sure enough, look, BP does beautiful seasonal favor at this time of year. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always nice to know. I also like to take a look at Finbiz to see if I've got analyst support for my watch list pick and as you can see, uh, BP has some recent upgrades. There's one downgrade in there, but for the most part, it's mostly upgrades. Like to see that. Also, like to read a couple of articles. I'm going to include a couple of them with today's video. This one is from Zach, dated March 14th. Why BP is the best oil super major to buy right now. So I'll include this along with an interview with the CEO after their last earnings announcement. Um, it basically, this is the best earnings we've had in recent history, says BB, uh, the CEO. So I'll include that with today's video as well. And so to quickly summarize, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell's in an uptrend, but it's at an area of resistance. It needs to get through this area of resistance. It's a time to be really careful. If it starts to reverse here, I'm going to be paying attention for sure. We looked at the sector that uh, BP is in, XLE, and we note that it's in an uptrend on the two-year chart. We looked at the five-year monthly, but we zoomed it into the two-year on the uptrend. We looked at the chart for BP. It's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of possible price continuation here. Emphasis on possible. It's got a great value score. It's got a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 21%. A current dividend yield of 5.98%. That's a wow dividend. It does have a 3 and 8 EMA cross. It's just crossed yesterday, so I'll be keeping an eye on it today. It's got seasonal favor, so check the box. It's got analyst support, check the box. A current PE of 15.80, and it looks as though earnings are on May 1st. As a reminder, my videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. I wanted to thank you for watching today. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. It'd be great to get more subscribers. That way I could devote more time and energy into improving the look and feel of the channel itself. With that, I'll leave you. Have a great next couple of days and our next video goes out on Tuesday.